You can find a green ribbon of grass in most San Diego yards. The thirsty transplant is a staple of Southern California landscaping. It is mowed, manicured, imitated, and most significantly watered. But grass is no longer king on some San Diego lawns. This is a full-on native plant, and just about a week ago it was truly spectacular with the white blooms. Mira Mesa uh, resident Steve Glass says he finally gave up the fight against nature a couple of years ago. We were, like most people, losing the, the battle on this lawn because we didn't want to put a lot of fertilizer on it. We did realize that that probably wasn't ecologically a good thing to do. He pulled out the grass in his suburban backyard and replaced it with drought-tolerant flowering plants on one side. We've got a little succulent garden up here on the bank with a manzanita tree. And herbs and spices on the other. Gravel paths connect the patches of plants. You get over that hump that says, I don't really need it, and I could save a lot of water if I got rid of it. That's just the mindset that you have to change. And I think for a lot of us here in San Diego, that mindset hasn't changed yet. Glass found his new backyard is still used, but it's a lot cheaper to maintain. The impact was measurable on his water bill, so he started thinking about the front yard. We took a larger stance here and said, well, we're having a drought. and We, we know we're having a drought. We know we're going to continue to have droughts. So from our purposes, we thought, let's just do our part, right? And let's, let's take the lawn out. and see if we can bring this house down to, you know, something reasonable. Some planning and a financial sweetener from the region's water authority made it happen. Grass came out, native plants were put in. Horsehair mulch controls the weeds. A state-of-the-art sprinkler system doles out just enough water for the plants to establish themselves. Glass's water use and bill are both down the median strips there's not grass. Dana Freehoff works for the San Diego County Water Authority. She's helping plan for the region's water future. I think fundamentally we live in a desert and we get very little rainfall. I think it is going to be important for folks to always use water efficiently um, out into the future. Water use in the region actually dropped for four straight years between 2007 and 2011. The sour economy calls for conservation Rising water prices and cool weather get the credit. But water use ticked back up in both 2012 and 2013. Daily per capita water use is back over 150 gallons per person after two years below that mark. About half of the region's drinkable water feeds landscaping, and Freehoff says lawns are obvious targets for conservation. As we look out to the future, say 2020, and we look at the, the mix of resources that are going to help us provide a reliable water supply, conservation is an important piece of that puzzle. And that is about, we're looking at about 13% of that, that resource pie. Bottom, bottom line was uh, $5.38 a square foot. Troy Ray was willing to do his part to save water that feeds his Chula Vista lawn, but that's not why he started thinking about a change. Maintenance. Maintenance was probably my uh, the factor that got me thinking first was to reduce the, the amount of maintenance, the fertilizing, the watering, the uh, mowing, the edging, and all those kinds of things. A Chula Vista landscaper, Rebecca Lamas, turned that slice of green into a garden, and she says it's not just cactus and rocks. The yard features drought-tolerant plants and state-of-the-art irrigation. Ray says he and his wife enjoy the garden atmosphere, and the investment is paying off on their water bill. And you can see here that from August through January of a year ago, we used 61 units of water. This past year, we've used 37 units of water. And that is a savings of 39.4% in units. And you multiply that into gallons, it comes up to 17,952 gallons of water that we've saved. The San Diego County Water Authority is helping bankroll a turf replacement program. State and federal grants are paying up to $3,000 to turn grass yards into more drought tolerant landscaping. And the authority is also offering clinics and sales on water sipping plants at local nurseries. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.